Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to isolate the ground from your wiper motor or any DC motor for that matter. Um, most of you who are watching this are probably trying to build either a robot or a motion simulator where you need to use more than one motor on a metal frame. Now what happens is generally in cars the negative is common with the case. So just to show you here we put the multimeter on continuity mode and we test. And we can see there's zero resistance and it beeps. Okay that means the ground is the same as the case. Okay what happens is if you have two motors on the same metal frame then their grounds become common too. Now if you reverse the polarity of this motor and this one is on the same common steel frame you'll burn out your controller. So there's a way to fix this and I'm going to show you how. So if we have a quick look over here we can see it's only only held together by two screws one over there one over there and uh, then we have some mystery tape around here so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape okay right over there so let's start by unscrewing the screws That's one. Let's do the other one. Okay, here we go. Let's put the screws over there where we can find them later. Okay, so now this can should just slip off. But as you can see, this one's not moving. That's because that tape we took off is holding this little bracket on you. So this just moves outwards. There we go. Put that over there. Now your can is free to spin. And you'll see that once we pull it off, we just have to support this circuit board here on the inside. There we go. This is the permanent magnet of the motor. I'll put it over there. And as you can see, it's got some brushes over there. Okay, it pulled out a bit when I disassembled it now, which is fine. We'll put it back together now. Okay, and then it should drop back down into position. There we go. All good. So the next step is to identify which wires go where. So you'll see these three wires here. Just go to the worm gear section. So we're not worried about those ones. We're just focusing on the ones that go into the motor. So there's one blue one. And there's another blue one. And then of course we've got the negative connected to the casing. Alright, so if we have a look at the motor, we'll see there's three brushes. One, two, three on this particular wiper motor. Yours may look different. So the reason it's got three brushes is one is the negative, and I can spot it from here. I can see this little wire coming from this brush goes directly. It's directly attached to the case. So that means this is the negative. Okay. The other two are for two different speeds. So you'll have a, a full speed and you'll have a, a half speed or a, an intermediate speed. So if we follow the wires, we can see that one of them goes to this brush over here and the other one goes to this brush over here. 
Okay, so let's measure the resistance. I'm going to put this on ohms. One of the leads I'm going to touch on the negative brush. And the other one I'm going to touch on one of these positive ones. I'll see on this one here I get about, mm, about 5 ohms. On the other brush at the back, I get a little bit more. It fluctuates, but it's definitely more than this one. There we go. So that means the one with the least resistance is the one that will give you the highest speed. Uh, all right. So this is the one we're going to use. This one we're going to disregard. We're not going to use that brush. Okay. So this one we're not going to use. We'll put it aside. This is our positive. It's got a nice red line. We'll remember that one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and strip this one. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to take away this wire. We need to cut it. There we go. So we've cut it. And this brush is no longer connected to the frame. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to get a wire in here and to this brush which will connect directly there and no longer to the frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to recycle this wire that we've got on the outside. Okay. Just put this screw back here. There we go. Now that we've identified which wires the motor actually uses, we can go ahead and get rid of these other wires. So I'm just going to chop them off right here. There we go. Boom. Alright, screws back in there. Now let's take this black wire that we've salvaged. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take off this lug. And going to strip it down a little bit. There we go. So now we need to find a hole. So you can either drill a new hole in here, but I'm just going to feed the wire into this slot here. Okay. I'm just going to lift this up. It's only held by some rubber um, grommets. Okay, there's a quite a big hole here where the where the screw goes for the casing. I'm just gonna stick it through here. I'm gonna try and stick it through there. There we go. Okay, we're going to cut a piece of heat shrink. We're going to slip it over the edge there. So let's solder this. It's pretty thin. This. We're going to do the same for this side. So, okay, here we go, all right, so now we can pull back the wire, 
way we want it to be. There we go. Nice. We want to leave some slack so that the brush, mm -hmm. if the brush needs to move, it can move successfully. All right. Okay, so now we are ready to put it back together. Okay, so the next step is to put this back on there. Now, these huge magnets are going to pull on this iron core and it's going to want to pull it out and it's going to pull it out of the brushes like we did when I took it apart. So what you're going to do, going to do is you're going to stick your fingers in here and hold it down as best you can. Okay, this might take a few tries and then stick it back in like that as far as it'll go. Okay. Okay. My brushes are still still intact. Okay. Maneuver this a little bit to get it back in there. There we go. Okay. Now we can just reassemble it. Wait, wrong way around. So now, now it's back together. I'm not gonna put this tape back on again. Um, we can now test continuity to see if the negative is part of the frame. Success, all right. Now let's give it a test. PC power supply here, yeah. negative, positive. Here we go. Turn the polarity around. Beautiful. Thanks everyone for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.